Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as this word is being preached to this world, let the Holy Spirit, or may the Holy Spirit himself take it to the world, interpret to your people that we may understand it, for we are living in the last days. In behalf of all, I'm asking for the letter, the spirit of truth to be with us, that we may understand it. In Jesus' name, God, I pray. Amen. I want to present this lesson. A time of trouble before probation crosses. There is a probation, but this probation one day will be crossed. I pray that please, please, by the time the probation will be crossed, May our names be written in the book of life. When you read Eddie Writings, page 33, Eddie Writings says, At the commencement of the time of trouble, we were filled with the Holy Ghost as we went forth and proclaimed the Sabbath more fully. Time will come when the question which day to worship Sunday or Saturday the seventh day now my friend brother, father my sister to preach this way to this fallen world be led to be killed be led to be persecuted for the devil is against the man of God. Sister what says, this view was given in 1847 when there were but very few of the Advent brethren observing the Sabbath. And of these but a few suppose that its observance was of sufficient importance to draw a line between the people of God and unbelievers. We can see here that keeping the Sabbath, the seventh day, which is written in the Bible, it shows that you are following the ways of God, the command of God. Many observing other day apart from this seventh day, Saturday, which is the Sabbath of God, you are observing the day. I don't know who you are following. Now the fulfillment of that view is the beginning to be seen. The commencement of that time of trouble. Preaching the Sabbath that is the, the true day that God commanded us to worship, to rest. It will bring problem to you. As I'm speaking right now, my friend, you do work on the Sabbath day. At your working place, they will tell you, they tell you that Saturday is nothing. All the days are same. Some they work on Saturday and the rest on Sunday. Some they say all the days are equal. But to God, they are not equal my friend some people they don't work because wherever they find a job they are told even on saturday we are working those who are serious with their god they don't work but those with little faith they will ask them if you don't work today what are you going to eat what are you going to feed? 
or what you are going to give your family. Some they just decided to wake to break the Sabbath. Anyway, devil blinded, blinded them that they don't see any difference between Saturday and Sunday. At that time, while the work of salvation is closing, trouble will be coming on earth, and the nation will be angry, yet in check so not to prevent the work of third angel's message. I want to tell you that here Meshen does not refer to the time when the prayers shall begin to be poured out, but to the short period just before they are poured out while Christ is in the sanctuary. And at that time while the work of salvation is closing, trouble will be coming on earth. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1, the Bible says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be time of trouble, and such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time thy people shall be shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Jesus Christ before he comes on this earth, there shall be time of trouble. Today we have the right to religious. You can worship the church you want. You can worship you can rest on you can call sabbath day any day you want friday saturday sunday or monday but my friend one day this right my friend it will be withdrawn from you and one who enforce and will command that whether you want it, you, uh, whether you want it or not you need to worship the day which this man will tell you to worship. But Peter and John, I remember they said, better to follow the command of God than a man.